Hello guys and welcome back. So now I wanted to take a look at how we can create a thrust effect uh, that we see a lot in movies where you have an engine exhaust uh, uh, shooting down smoke that collides with the ground. And this is something really simple uh, to create with our system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave everything the same and then we'll tweak it from there. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a ground. Let me remove the rotation going to add a ground here it's the ground and uh, let's extend this a little bit maybe three downward two on both sides just adding a little bit of padding there and then all I'm going to do is add a gravity okay and gravity is set to minus 9.8 and I'm going to hit play And you can see already uh, we're getting a very interesting effect by just having gravity applied to the smoke and having a ground collision actually and let me uh, let me let this run for a few seconds so we get an idea about the effects cool let's take a look at this here make sure we're viewing it yeah so this is the uh, the high res let me turn off velocity so we don't get we don't stream a lot of data from stops from dops sorry you can see now we're, we're shooting down smoke and then it's cooling down and all of this is just using by uh, uh, simply adding the velocity and the temperature here is going to look really really detailed uh, we're going to see a lot of interesting details uh, just by adding this now Remember we have a velocity coming, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the source here and instead of uh, under the velocity instead of minus one, I'm going to change it to uh, minus one and Z so it shoots down uh, downward. Okay, and let's hit play and view it here. Cool, so now the smoke is shooting downwards and we're getting our thrust effect. Now, because of the gravity and all the and all the uh, the yeah and all the temperature we're also going to get a very interesting uh, dissipation here where the fast moving parts will be hotter and moving this direction and then everything uh, else that where the temperature dissipates is gonna slow down cool so let's take a look at this and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go back and uh, move the ground a little bit down so we have a longer stream. Let's say minus four. Cool and uh, let's increase the gravity a little bit. Actually let's increase the velocity instead so it shoots down faster. And we obviously we don't have to uh, we don't have to show this uh, we don't have to show this uh, with temperature we can just show show the smoke if we want to um, but then we can also show it with temperature now let's say we didn't like how far the temperature is going uh, what we can do in that case we can duplicate the temperature and have a different decay for that so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a new field. I want to leave the temperature that I have and make a new field that I can use for uh, to fake the temperature. But we want to keep all the temperature that we have because the we like the behavior. So I'm going to call this uh, fake temp. Okay, and then we're going to dive inside this guy actually we don't have to do anything inside the gas calculate where we copy the temperature uh, where we copy the custom temp into the temperature we're going to copy it to the fake temp fake temperature this guy okay so now we have our own uh, data I'm not going to clear it because I wanted to uh, actually I can clear it I'm going to clear the fake 
Uh, no, I don't. I'm sorry. I don't need to clear it. We 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 have to leave it as it is. But we need to create our own uh, custom decay for this. So I'm gonna copy that uh, volume vop. So what is this for? This call it decay temperature. Just to be clear, I'm gonna call uh, copy this, and I'm gonna uh, import the fake temp. Let me just verify the name. Yeah, fake temp. And we want to decay that. So let's expo export it back. And I'm going to decay it using a different rate, let's say 0.5. Now, th remember, this, is, uh, this has nothing to do with the current temperature. Okay? We're just copying the same data that we're using for the actual temperature into this uh, fake, fake temp field. Okay? And then we're decaying it using our own uh, decay node. So every frame it's going to decay 0.5. Now inside the pyro here, we're going to leave the temperature as it is. Okay, but I'm going to, uh, sorry, we're not going to use the temperature to display it. We're going to display the fake temp. Okay, and let's take a look at that. And now the sim should stay exactly the same. And uh, again, the, uh, we're gonna, uh, it's gonna ri run out of sync where we may see uh, data that is rising or moving fast, uh, behaving differently. But in reality, the sim has its original temperature if we wanted to, but this is a custom information that we created. And you can see, uh, it, see it decays faster. Now let's put back the temperature. You see it's there are different. Let me increase this even more. So we decay it even faster, okay? And let's make sure we're viewing that. So it's much, uh, much lower in terms of intensity. But what I'd like to do, instead of uh, multiplying it by uh, this value, I'm going to actually subtract from it. And this is going to be a bit more aggressive uh, than the multiplication. So I'm going to subtract certain value. Let's start with 0.1 every frame and see how that affects the field. And make sure let's we're viewing the fake temp. Cool. everything is working let's increase this value here let's try 10 yeah and it's decaying you can see it's decaying a lot faster now let's try 100 and this should remove it completely in, uh, in just a few frames Okay, let's try 15. Cool, so now we have a custom field that is being decayed uh, completely different, dif uh, differently from the original temperature and we can use whatever information we want if we'd like to do that. So this is just an idea uh, that we can apply. Let me copy this and we need to stream uh, we need to import that data so i'll just type it here fake temp i want it to be invisible and let's turn it on and then here i'm gonna select the fake temp uh, let me it's in this list now cool so let's compare so this is the temperature same mapping same everything and this is the uh, fake temp and you can do all kinds of uh, interesting effects with this. You can also, uh, instead of just using the temperature, for example, I can create a volume wrangle. Okay, and I want to modify the temperature to be the multiplication of, or I want to add the temperature to that fake temperature. I want, I want to make it stronger at the beginning. So I'm going to say F 
temperature plus equal and I want to add the fake temp okay and let's uh, looks like this is going between into the negative range so let's clamp it between uh, 0 and 100 so fake temp so we don't we remove all the negative values zero thousand okay let's turn this off you can see it how it's uh, you can see it's adding more details to the sim to this field at least and we can also multiply it by four for example so it's brighter in in that area and again this is just an idea of what we can do to uh, create custom fields in DOPS and it's something that we're going to be uh, looking at in future weeks okay let me uh, let me run this at a higher resolution oh I remember one more thing we're going to add one more thing uh, that is really uh, that is really really strong and we're going to add a gas dissipate and I want to dissipate the density uh, really fast so in this case gas evaporate rate to 0.4 and let's see how that gives us what that gives us It's not strong enough. Let's increase it even more. Let's try 0.8. Cool. So now it's fading. Uh, it's fading much, much quicker. Now, one thing that uh, we see a lot with this effect, or we try to create a lot of times, is having having a lot of uh, volume uh, rising up and uh, added in the surrounding area. So as it as the smoke progress, we want to get that uh, nice rolling effect. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, the I'm going to use the divergence. Let me turn off the dissipation. Hopefully uh, this will help. So inside the gas calculate, remember we're injecting this custom divergence. And let me actually uh, restore to view the original temperature because that's what we're using. I want to inject a little bit more of that. I want to increase the divergence. And that should help well it, it can add a huge amount of smoke if we wanted to so that will add the the amount of smoke that we need surrounding the borders as well as in the center which should help as well so we're gonna get yeah you can see we're gonna get a lot more smoke uh, coming from the sphere so let me run this at a higher resolution and let me put back the dissipation I'm gonna lower it to 0.4 I think it was very uh, extreme and I'm gonna lower this to 2 and I will run a sim and we'll take a look at it in the next frame I'm gonna use this uh, this setting cool so I'm gonna let it run and then we'll continue in the next video thank you guys for watching and see you in a bit